Yo, what's up guys? Okay, so I seen that they added a new mantra. The new mantra is called Flash Fire Sweep. And yeah, making a Arc Water build for this. I can't wait to try it out. And I'm gonna be so honest, okay? I wiped my last build that I progressed. And the reason why I wiped it is because one, I don't like playing Kiro Sword. I like to play up close. And that build was so broken. It's it's literally a range mage build. If you guys just want to be annoying and just kill people from a distance, 100% get that build. You know, the playstyle was not for me. Yes, I was beating people on that build. But the thing about it is... Okay, the build had Grand Javelin. It had Ear Force. And then it had so much other stuff that was just uh, ranged, right? So, so yeah, I would just beat people from a distance. And I know you guys are like, why did you wipe the build? Cause like the build was oh my god the pre-shrine for that build was so good for uh hero sword i'm using it for this build as well because reinforced armor plus arc water bro it's, it's literally just meta bro it's very good to go but listen okay so the build play style and i really don't like i just didn't like it because you know people be like yo like don't s hold and this and that but that build it's in your advantage to literally s hold because you have Grand Javelin, you have Air Force, you had all this other stuff. But yeah, the build was basically just a mage spam build. And that's what this build is going to be as well. Why I really wiped the other build is because I rerode my bell four times and I did not get Reaper. And the thing about me is I need Reaper on every single build because for the most part, I play solo. Also, guys, make sure you get all the Bastion talents because yes we are getting reinforced armor so you need to get all the bastion talents <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh my god bro bro there's no way there's no way i'm not even overreacting do you realize how many times i wiped trying to get flame blind on my fire builds do you realize i bro i don't know why but the game hated me but i finally got flame blind i know you guys bro in other progression videos i'm like bro can i please get flame blind but like, no the game would not give me flame blind and now i got flame blind bro i'm so happy but yeah we're going vitality as well <gasps> bro, we have flame blind we have flame blind bro i have flame blind bro oh my god this bro is this feels like a legendary bell bro i'm not even lying bro like this oh my bro i don't get flame blind ever i finally got it <laughs> i finally got flame blind i'm so happy i'm so happy also guys i got you guys with the stories i got a story today as well also all of this is like real and the thing is okay i literally have all the proof and like evidence of what i'm saying is real but sometimes i don't include all of it because you know that's very time consuming but yeah i will include a fear bit yeah, but every single thing i say is real like people can back this up multiple people but yeah for the most part guys i just play this game solo so i want reaper on all of my builds in the game would just not give me reaper on the last progression video that i did like i rewrote that bell you guys see me i was like okay let me actually get reaper and then you know finish the progression video but i did like four bell rerolls and i did not get reaper let me stop talking about that build i i'm just saying because i know some people are going to be like yo why did you wipe the last build the game would not give me reaper and it was just a pretty annoying build to have my enemies fight because if i'm really fighting you for real okay i'm going to like do everything possible to win unless it's a friendly 1v1 but if i'm in depths or something oh yeah oh yeah bro 100 percent. but if it's a friendly 1v1 it's like for fun nah <laughs> yeah i'm so happy i got flame blind this progression video i really am okay so we're gonna get 30 fortitude there was so many people saying this in my last uh video they were like yo how did you get reinforced armor with such little willpower guys it's because trying to vote her okay so yeah anyways what i'm gonna do is just burn this you need all of the bastion talents but yeah i'm gonna tell you guys a quick little story okay basically this story is about the fall of gang cup okay now i gotta talk about gang cup and what gang cup was okay so yeah let's talk about it and let me just take all the bastion talents but yeah, basically what Gang Cup was, it was this amazing server. I feel like I should just take Fireblade because I, I like having a block break. Actually, I'm going to just roll too because I want to make sure that I get all the stuff I need. Yeah, this is good. It's giving me uh, Bastion talents. Okay, so that's very nice. But yeah, I'm going to talk about Gang Cup, okay? And what Gang Cup was. Now, imagine 
that you had absolutely like no friends playing deep oaken right you just don't have friends or you have friends and your friends aren't that good at pvp now let's say you got ganked by like 15 guys right actually nah let's tone it down a bit okay so let's say you got ganked by six guys now you hear about this server gank hub and this server basically what we did was spin for people who got flooded so you wouldn't even need to have a guild to just come to a big gank you could just boom oh kill the people in this guild okay this this is how it would go okay i'll just make up a random guild name so let's say you got killed by a guild called my little ponies and let's just put points into strength because i need that talent with the flame blind too so that would be really nice i know you need like strength and a bit of flame charm for it so yeah we're going to get that talent with the flame blind okay so you guys got flooded right just imagine this you get flooded by this guild right my little ponies right they start spamming easy they're like bro you suck and then you have like either no guild or the friends that you have and the guild that you have they're not the best at pvp and you know they just cannot defeat this guild called my little ponies so what you would do is go to this discord server now this discord server was called gank hub and what you could basically do in gank hub was ping for ganks and a whole bunch of people would spin for you it was amazing it was so amazing it is the most fun i had on deep Oaken. i'm not gonna lie bro like yeah it was a lot of bad experiences with it the community uh people snaked me but it was a very nice server to be in some of the most fun i had on deep Oaken. and also gank hub would win at least like 98 percent of the ganks that were pinged for so yeah basically amazing server right so like even in depths if you got ganked in depths you could literally ping gank hub be like yo you could be like yo these guys are weird man they just ganked me all these people start spinning for you like bro we would spin hard bro we would literally i kid you not even if it was listen okay gank hub technically beat like some of the best skills and I'm, I'm gonna tell you why i say this the average skill level of the like gank hubian the average gank hubian was terrible it wasn't crazy pvpers but they won 98 percent of the ganks because one the communication when i was in there guys communication is like everything in ganks first of all yeah your skill can carry you but if you have really good communication bro and th this is what i realized when fighting infected and i'm not calling infected bad or anything but his communication it is on lock absolutely is on lock bro good communication can really go a far way really far away because even people who aren't the best at parrying if they have good communication they can easily win ganks right so uh gank hub won nearly all of its ganks because uh good communication plus uh, we had some really hard carries one and i'm not trying to like glaze myself right but uh when i joined ganks most of the time a woggers joined ganks with me too if you guys don't know a woggers he's very good at ganking right so and me and a woggers we did some crazy ganks uh, we won like a 4v12 against wyvern we did some crazy ganks it was like real fun also there's a video on that too if you guys do want to watch that but yeah basically we won a lot of ganks so what went wrong and i'm gonna talk about what actually went wrong oh i should have repaired my armor but yeah in gang cup it was three main people that a lot of people know one being me myself okay the second being zetsu and the third being someone named kyojo now these were the main na gankers i'm not getting into eu yeah there's some known people like mo and other people uh a lot of a lot of eus too but i'm only talking about the nas because it was mainly just na ganks at first right i'm talking about early gank hub it was my idea to make gank hub because i had a lot of support and fans being like yo inu i got ganked you know pull up and i didn't really have a guild back then right so because of the whole nano thing uh like destiny just stopped being a thing right so and bro i'm gonna just say this i don't know much about the nano thing but nano is absolutely a real one to at least me because out of all of like bro my whole not my whole life but like online i haven't ever had someone just be nice to me and just you know help me with youtube and other stuff like nano because i literally barely had anything with nano right and i tried to i really should have re repaired my armor i try to like do good for people i really do and nano is just that cc that really helped me out with stuff bro like he shouted me out this dude's healing bro can you not heal he gave me shout outs and stuff like that and uh 
just helped me with so much stuff bro like nano was absolutely a real one there's not many content creators that was like nano like helping people out like he did that's really what i wanted to do i wanted to shout out like smaller content creators because nano really did uh help me quite a lot with youtube when i didn't have anything like like i don't know why he did either bro it's just really kind dude and yeah i don't know anything about that nano situation bro i'm gonna just say this because uh i don't want people saying like oh nano's this and that bro i'm just saying how he treated me he's a great dude just from my experience right so uh yeah but back to the story and oh my god my parry game's like really bad when i'm like trying to focus and talk but i'm gonna still do it um back to the story so yeah gang cub was popping and this dude kyojo zetsu the people that i made the server with we had equal perms and we basically made this thing like yo we're not gonna snake each other right so just equal perms not gonna snake each other or uh do any snake stuff right like we were we were like locked in like really locked in right and kyojo was a really chill person or so i thought so we got gideon this dude's not a bounty so i won't kill this dude but uh first thing is when the server was out i basically had this system and this system was like yo if you snake us while we're ganking a guild basically like people that snake the vcs are like oh gank hub i want to gank inu uh i just want to ruin their ganks and like uh fight gank hub and i was like okay if you guys do that if you guys want to snake and just try to like gank our vcs you just get blacklisted and if you want to get unblacklisted uh you could do something i would be like okay since you uh snaked one of our ganks right on purpose like since you like joined our vc and you tried to look at my live and snakes one of my gangs i'd be like okay if you boost four gang cup members with dukes or like some type of boss help them get their bell i'll give you access back to gang cup so it wasn't an automatic ban okay so i gotta put points into flame charm because i gotta make sure that i get the flame blind talent until i'm level eight i know the shrine of order looks weird but it literally works bro just having that reinforced armor it's worth it but uh let me get some notes real quick. Now, when I say these people were blacklisted from Gang Cub, no, they were not banned from the server. They would get a role saying like blacklisted, which they could not see any VCs, any chats, any gank pings, or anything. The only thing they could do is talk to other people that were blacklisted or talk to a mod in the server or just talk to me, right? Keo did not like that because it was a lot of people after ganks, right? They would just you know ping them be like yo you're trash this and that and i'm not going to talk about anyone's skill in this video because i don't want to i don't want to be that type of person if you're good at a video game you're good if you're bad you're bad just have fun so yeah this dude keo he basically lost the gank there's so many people ping him they're like yo you suck this and that right now he starts banning all of the blacklisted people literally every single person which it's not really a bad thing like looking back at it it's not really bad because they were snaking but so he bans about what like a hundred people or so so that's the first thing that i didn't really agree with him because there was some people that was my friend right they were my friend but they didn't like keo so they would gank keo and it was just messy because the server was so big and you know everyone didn't like everyone right so some of kyojo's friends from star they didn't like me a lot of people didn't like Kyo. it was already quite some problems with that and we're just going to drop down here not only this right that's just in-game stuff but the problems just emerge from oh my god bro jet striker and you could easily beat me dude like why are you running like this this is what i mean like if you want to improve at least fight back a bit bro i can't even okay but anyways i can't catch this dude so like it's it's perhaps that that oh wait can i there's he can climb that what okay he's just gone this is why i don't pick jet strikers if you guys never want to fight me just pick jet striker and i will not pick you bro unless i have a crazy build that can catch people i'm not picking jet striker i'm not gonna lie because if people trash talk me i would just either like ignore them most of the time and i, I really don't care because bro some of these people I, I, i'm gonna just say this okay because i can go back and forth i see so many people like saying oh i beat inu which it doesn't bother me at all but like <laughs> what's funny because like some people confirm it they would be like yo this dude is trash and he's claiming that he beat you and i'll be like uh uh i i really don't know because like there's so many people right and i do lose 1v1s guys but what they don't tell you like 95 percent of them 
who will not tell you that one and then they will leave out the fact that i was a freshie right but uh kyojo he did not like that right even if it was someone better than me at the game like uh who was it like acid verse one i would keep acid in the game cup server because i was like yeah acid's chill like, now when it came to kyojo literally like anyone that's better than them and they like even like taunt him a bit automatic ban like literally automatic ban he did not care bro if you ever ganked him in a gank just automatic ban so i kind of got bothered by it because he was banning a lot of my friends like a lot of them right so uh even dester got banned dester got banned uh the leader of storm got banned at some point too and that's not even like the main reason why it fell off that is a big reason though of like why the server got dead because the server got dead because like Kyo was just literally kicking everyone that like made it active because eventually he would just have a problem with him so that's not even the worst part now when it came to people counter ganking and basically spying on the server just to gank us this is how it was supposed to work okay Kyo and all the other people with perms was only supposed to ban if they ganked a you know gank that was pinged for that was how it was supposed to work now this dude Kyo starts banning literally everyone that trash talks him and my sister moderated the server right and i don't know what it is with zetsu and Kyo, but for some reason they just did not like females or anyone identifying as a female you know on discord they just it would just be like female jokes and you know i was like really bothered by it because it's like bro like like why do you guys have to come over someone for their you know gender or what they want to be called right so, oh my god i'm getting low like i really gotta parry up but we should be fine but yeah i had a problem with that right so oh i i'm so happy we got flame blind but this dude is this dude gonna run for me but uh yeah so kyojo and zetsu they're messing with this girl the girl name is uh actually i won't even say the girl's name i could probably find some dms of them you know saying some out-of-pocket stuff and yeah it would bother me a ton and i i would tell them repeatedly like yo can you stop can you chill out like when it comes to me i treat literally like guys and females the same i don't put them to a higher standard i don't put them at a lower standard i just treat them equally right and they would just basically belittle every single female in the server it was really weird i'm not gonna lie the main reason why a lot of people liked me more than the other server owners is because i would literally pull up to like every gank and they got to know me on like a personal level right uh other people like keo and other people they would literally go like weeks without uh ganking or helping anyone they would just like ping for their uh videos right so that is a main thing because it was mainly just me and store members carrying gank hub at the start i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say like keo never came to anything but for the most part it was just uh it was mainly me what is this dude yapping about bro stop yapping why is this dude getting like packed up by npcs but uh yeah so basically they kept on bothering uh females in the server uh saying like weird stuff and i just had to you know like i i just had to stop with the drama and literally bro every time i would do something bro they would be like oh inu simping again like bro like i just didn't want anyone being like bullied for you know their gender but they would be like oh inu simping uh they would say i would like simp for this girl marcy so that was another problem but i'm gonna tell you guys the main problem right now of why it really fell off i was promoting Kyo and also so many other youtubers right like same with zetsu right i ping for zetsu's videos and then one day zetsu wakes up and he decides to nuke the entire server for a i don't know what this is but they said it was a gpo kraken core and also a gpo fruit so like and here's the thing and i really do like appreciate nano for helping me out with youtube like bro oh my god like i really do appreciate him i can say this like he never wanted anything he, anything like he never tried to do anything bad for me bro like, i like thank nano for everything bro. i joined nano's guild the whole time when nano was ranked okay i was like bro like this dude already did a lot for you bro like the least i can do is being his guild get a uh, rank that's when i was top 250 and i just wanted to do right by uh nano because you know he helped me out a ton that's all i wanted to do right you know i try to do the same for other youtubers right but i got snaked so much and i don't understand it right so yeah i basically pinged for this dude zetsu's videos and this and that and then he just randomly wakes up he's like yo 
let's nuke gang cop and then after it got nuked they literally started laughing about it bro like i paid people to set up the server they just did not care bro it was just funny to them that my server got nuked also guys my servers got nuked so many times like if oh my god i can literally name on two hands like how many people nuked the servers when the storm server got nuked gang cup got nuked by uh this dude zetsu which was another like huge fallback for the server because we lost a ton of members because they were spam pinging everyone for like hours bro and no one like no mod there knew how to stop it i literally just hopped on i deleted the web links and everything whatever it's called bro the integrations that the bot had and like fixed it in a second i don't know why and i don't want to like say this but i don't think anyone even put in the time to actually stop the nuke because of how many mods it was and then me just like seeing the stuff and then stopping it in literally under five minutes it's like i don't know i feel like i was the only person that really cared about the server bro what is this like okay this is actually so weird guys i wasn't gonna say anything about this because i didn't want more people doing it it's like this thing where some ice user cover up the bounty boards like i really didn't want to make make a video on this but yeah someone needs to fix this like actually fix this bro because this is really annoying i don't know who's doing this but uh yeah let me just take a screenshot yo like tell them to fix this please because it keeps on happening bro there's there's someone that hates void walkers and they're like server hopping and covering every single bounty board but yeah basically zetsu just nuked the server i i think we lost like 4k members i don't know but gank hub became dead after that for a good moment uh me just ganking more and bringing in some storm members it just was a really good uh server again we got it active and popping right uh zetsu was still in the server but he was like upset that he didn't have perms for a while and i'm like like bro like you nuked the server like why would someone give you perms when you nuked the server again right so then it was just me and keel right just me and keel being the only two owners and we would just pull up the ganks a whole bunch of drama happened when keo basically got involved with uh this girl marcy marcy did not like keo keo did not like marcy and yeah i'm gonna just talk i'm gonna just talk about this right so the main reason why marcy did not like keo is because one the way he treated females and the second reason is because keo was um, a star member and she did not like star okay <clears throat> basically marcy and keo they start arguing and this dude dms marcy he's like yo keo is a really big racist and not only not only that but it was like multiple other people like shidori this youtuber shidori told me that kyojo was racist as well so i'm like okay this is kind of crazy so yeah i basically start seeing the stuff that uh they're saying he's racist about which is i'm not showing it because there's some crazy stuff that's been said also i'm gonna just say this it has never been confirmed right but i will tell you what he did do to me right but that whole racist thing it was a clip being sent of him saying some crazy stuff it sounds exactly like him but he claims that it's not him and that he's not racist so basically this girl marcy bans Kyo from the server and yes Kyo was the owner but after the whole zetsu and uh kyojo thing and him just not knowing how to stop a nuke well i basically said oh yeah let me just give it to this girl marcy because marcy knows what she's doing like she's not the type to you know she wasn't like the competitive oh if i ever lose i'm gonna like be like mad at you if i ever lose on deep Oaken. she was just nice to everyone really nice person uh i do appreciate oh my god i do appreciate marcy a lot because she helped my server a ton right so and keo hated it i'm like i'm like bro you were friends with zetsu you said zetsu would be good for the server and then he nuked the server so i'm like yeah and he, he kept on giving zetsu back perms i didn't want that so i ended up demoting keo to like a uh, co-owner or something and then uh marcy since marcy wasn't a big deep woken person uh should we take high levels this this uh video guys i mean let's do it for fun honestly uh we'll take this dude just for fun but anyways yeah so marcy was uh actually bro that dude is so far though like he's going all the way over there should we just keep on chasing but yeah marcy had higher perms than keo which he tried to get the whole server to riot for and everything he's like oh he knew simping for this girl marcy the whole time i did not date the girl or anything <laughs> like she was literally just like a chill friend like i swear i don't hold females to a higher 
like standard or anything right so whole time he's trying to tell people i'm a simp and like mess up my reputation and this and that and then one day marcy's like okay yeah i'm just done with this dude right so what she does is she pings all the reasons why like keo is racist mind you i did not like confirm the stuff but marcy did sheer screen i'm not gonna lie it looked a bit scuffed but it is his same id with the stuff but i'm not too sure because the whole video did look scuffed right but uh yeah it was him in the vc 100 but it was like another dude that he said sounded like him so shidori and marcy both said uh he was basically racist but yeah marcy pings the whole server of like the proof of kyojo being racist in vc i'm not gonna lie to you guys it sounded exactly like him uh shidori probably still has a clip and this and that but yeah it sounds exactly like him right so um basically everyone starts calling kyojo a racist now all of this could be false maybe there's a slim chance he has someone that sounds exactly like him that was saying that stuff maybe okay i'm gonna go to the stuff that he did wrong to me personally right so this is basically bro can i just get ones bro okay this you just jumped in it but uh bro like i just want to be 1v1 but yeah this is basically what happened so after that right he dms me he's like edu you owe me all this money because of all the giveaways i did i need my money back right and he's like um why is this dude okay this dude's trying to fight me too this dude's a max level but he's like yo inu you owe me all this money i did so many giveaways and this and that guys we don't even have any mix-ups for this guy really uh most i can do is like m1 faint i'm not gonna lie because flame blind isn't but uh yeah he's like yo inu owes me all this money bro how how dare he ban me all of the work i put into the server and i'm like okay because i actually feel bad because uh even though it was giveaway money and he did get his youtube promoted a ton by the server i felt bad for a second because i'm like you know uh it's kind of wrong that marcy banned him i was just going to unban him and just talk stuff out but he was like yo you owe me all this money right so i'm like okay let's be real of like how much money you put into giveaways because it was not that amount so he's just trying to lie for more money and this and that right so um uh, what is this dude oh this dude knows me i'm but yeah he's just lying about it and he's like yo you, know, you actually owe me this much money so i counted his money in the giveaways like way back it was nowhere close to the amount that he told me it was like nowhere close so basically the dude's just lying to get like extra money off of the situation i'm like yo kyo be so for real with me bro you didn't put that much money into giveaways don't say that i owed you like don't say i owe you that much money and first of all it was a giveaway so i'm like bro like you need to chill out oh my god we're actually like beating this max level this is crazy but i do no damage i'm like bro kyo it was a giveaway like why are you doing this right so the whole time right you got it my boy <laughs> yo appreciate you bro i appreciate that dude the whole time kyo is just really um being weird about it right he's saying yo inu snaked me he banned me from my own server this and that whole time and literally anyone will tell you this i came to like most of the ganks it wasn't even kyo right and i'm not trying to make it like who did more type of video because i'm not gonna lie and say kyo did absolutely nothing for the server he did do quite a bit for the server but the damage that he did too is kind of crazy right so he's like yo you owe me this much money i'm like kyo don't like lie to me right and then he starts calling me all these names like all this crazy stuff he's like bro you're fake you're uh you know uh i don't want to say i can't really say it on youtube because like you know oh why is this dude shooting bro like can this dude stop shooting his gun why is this dude okay this dude just sold me i'm not gonna lie like this dude is just hitting his rifle he's being so annoying but um wait let me tee up for this one but uh oh my god this dude's getting packed but uh basically yeah keo was like uh you owe me all this money i'm like no i don't like don't lie about the money i told this dude too i said i will give you the money but no he started being disrespectful about the whole thing uh what is this dude doing oh yeah he starts being disrespectful about the whole thing 
and this and that. And I'm like, oh my god, this dude's actually knocked. But I'm like, yo, Kyo. Bro, like, why didn't that dude let me get the grip? Like, I'm so confused, bro. Like, this is why I really don't go for the max levels. Like, I could go for the max levels, but then stuff like that happens. And max levels run. 1v1, I'll let this dude grip me if he wins. But, yeah, he starts being, like, really disrespectful in my DMs. He's like, yo, you're this and that. Just calling me all these types of names. Uh, saying that I'm, like, simping and this and that. Even though he did, like, a lot wrong. And then he lied to me trying to get, like, extra money from, like, stuff that he didn't even spend for the giveaways. So, I'm like, yeah, it's just, like, really weird. I just, I was like, yo, I'll give you the money. But after he started being disrespectful, uh, I pinged my server. I was like, do you guys think Kyojo deserves any money? Now, I really shouldn't let my server, uh, like, make decisions like that. Because I was basically the liked one, like, mainly. And it was, like, kind of biased because it was a lot of my friends from uh, Storm and stuff, right? But a lot of people was like, no, Kyo doesn't deserve anything. It was giveaway money, right? So since he got banned for being basically, uh, you know, uh, treating females poorly, which I know of, and second, racist stuff that might not have been true. Oh, my God. Why, why is this dude, like, shooting gal traps? Who is this dude? Let's go. Bro, like, please, like, why are so many people messing up 1v1s today? I don't get it. I really don't. But, uh, yeah. The whole reason why I blocked him at first was because, uh, this dude keeps on hitting me. I don't know why. I really don't. So, basically, he just stays banned from that because the server did not like him after he tried to, like, finesse extra money from me for like giveaways people were like why is he doing giveaways if like it's not really a giveaway he's just you know he wants something out of the giveaway right so i was going to give him money at first but that was before he was being disrespectful i was going to give him money for like the giveaways and stuff that he did do for the server right because he did do giveaways and stuff hello so okay like i'm so tired i don't know why people are jumping in but yeah i'm like bro Ke like Keo basically said i owed him this much money and he did that on purpose just to get like extra money off of me why i stopped talking to him and why he stopped being an owner of gank hub because he basically tried to finesse money and like say he put this much in which uh he didn't okay so he just wanted money also mind you this dude is always calling people broke and like trying to go ban for ban for some reason so like people were kind of like laughing about it and they were like yo like why is Keo trying to like ask you for money when he was like yo i'm making all this money uh this and that Keo joe joins the server right I, i'm like yo you can get unbanned oh we just leveled up joins the server back and we need to get unwavering but we're gonna take this for now but yeah he joins the server back joins the server back he starts griefing the server he starts pinging everyone he starts deleting channels. I'm like, okay, now I just invited you back to the server and you just did that. Okay, let me train this up too. So basically, he rejoins the server just to nuke it. And that's when he just stayed banned. I'm like, bro, you're gonna, like, we couldn't talk stuff out. You're just gonna nuke the server. And I vented to him about the whole Zetsu situation and, like, how I felt like I was snaked. And he does the exact same thing. No, I have some crazy, like, crazy trust issues, bro. So now in my server, like, literally only limited people have perms, kind of. And it's not really, like, perms because I don't want to, you know, worry about the server getting nuked or anything else because stuff happens. Literally, people will be like, I kid you not, my mods got DM'd. My mods got DM'd to nuke the server and one of my mods was like yo can i scan this dude because he dm'd one of my mods saying yo if you uh give me perms in the inu server and just help me nuke it i will give you a hundred dollars and then one of my mods was like yo can i scan this dude i was like that's why i really don't trust people with perms nowadays just blaming me for problems that occurred in the server and it was just way too stressful to keep game cup going at least for me and there was no i'm, I'm being so serious at the time it was no good replacement literally no good replacement no one came to ganks like me like i'm trying to think of a single person and i can name a lot of eus i can name a lot of eu people but i can't name any nas because most of the na staff and the na people right they they basically were like yo gank up's trash i don't want to play with them and this and that 
and I'm like, and I'm literally telling them, I'm like, bro, if you're really good, and if you're supposed to be a warlord, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, bro, if you're actually good at the game, then you don't need good people. Like, it doesn't matter if the gang club, uh, people that are tr like, if they're trash, bro, they're they're the ones pinging for ganks. Like, if you're that type of dude that can boss trade, you can literally just make free content. You can just have fun, like, bro. But no, they were like, the, like most of the warlords were like, no, bro. I can't do this, man. Gank Hub's too too trash to carry. Whole time, me and the Woggers winning every single gang. It didn't matter who was with us, bro. And I kind of got bothered by it because, like, people were comparing skill. I'm like, bro, you're just... Like, I I'm sorry, but I was telling people this. I'm like, bro, you're just trash at the game. Like, you can't you can't gank with a couple of people. You're blaming other people for you losing ganks, bro. Like, you're trash at the game. So, I I'm not going to lie. I was becoming, like, really toxic at that state and i did not like the way i was back then you know woggers we're not we're never going to be like bro i lost the gank because these people that we were playing with was trash like no we just if we ever lose a gank we just lost bro it is what it is but no they made a thousand excuses but yeah i was telling people i'm like yo stop blaming other people for like you losing ganks bro that is your fault like okay sometimes your teammates can like you know not do as good but like come on bro if you're really a good player and a good pvp -er, you can carry people like in deep oak and you can throw carry if you have this skill i'm not saying everyone can but yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about it that's basically it uh just people nuking the server I, I don't know if i would ever bring it back but it was a lot of fun i'm not gonna lie it was a lot of fun bro i do miss it okay so what we're doing here is killing a sharko because we do want to get some knowledge oh he's right right there okay so we're gonna kill this real quick okay let's kill this and this will give us one knowledge because i need knowledge to get noro since i didn't get it before okay so we killed the sharko and that gave us one knowledge right there and we're just going to reroll like warriors or spite or something that we can easily get back just for noro we're gonna talk to this dude yes give it to me please 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 oh it's right there okay we're gonna drink this and get thunder call right okay drink this boom it's gonna shock me okay so what we're gonna do is talk to this girl right here right and what you gotta do after this is go to fort merit and just fight the uh fort merit guys she is like top 250 chime bro she's for a boss rating oh my goodness look at her wait look 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 okay here. boom we got it warriors respite that's three so we're gonna go right here reroll that and this is neuro okay there we go i was trying to get a bounty at song seeker but there's literally no bounties at song seeker and then the other two are at monkey's paw so i'm gonna just fight this guy real quick because i just want to pvp but yeah i need to get a bounty at song seeker to actually do the shrine of order but yeah i'm gonna fight this guy what's up oh he's flame charm heavy there's a lot of flame charm users bro a lot of flame charm users today what's up buddy oh this dude cannot parry plane him once or maybe his server's lagging for him i don't know oh never mind let me see oh no he can parry all right okay yeah he can parry a bit do this boom flame blind is so good i love it yo this fight bro like what is he <laughs> yo if you guys play heavy literally like uppercut spam i'm telling you just uppercut spam be like boom boom you just gotta keep on uppercut spamming with heavy be like just like this okay i feel bad for this dude wait here i'm gonna tell him uppercut uppercut spam because so maybe this guy can beat me if you just use the bro i tell people the like secret method to heavy and one of my uh videos the crypt blade video right so if you guys do want to get good at heavy make sure to watch that video like the methods that i tell you is absolutely crazy but yeah this npc is on me it's very annoying uh i might just fight actually no i don't want to fight that npc because that npc has so much hp honestly bro please this npc is so annoying bro this npc he's like he's just playing around the npc bro like that's all he's doing right now wait does the npc m1 i don't think it m1s okay it doesn't even m1 oh he's not okay 
Oh, never mind. The NPC does in one. Just being able to mix up with heavy and, you know, use uppercuts is pretty nice. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna look for a bounty at Songseeker. Oh, that dude knows me. Uh, who did I take? Okay, we got a bounty right here. Okay, so I gotta kill this guy. I have to to get a TP at Songseeker. Bro, please fight me. Please. Please. Okay, he's right here. Oh, are they gonna jump? I think they are. Okay, let me actually tee up. Because I need to use the Shrine of Order, bro. I cannot be, like, missing parries on Fireblade. So happy his Fireblade doesn't guard break right now. It has to be level 5 to actually guard break. Uh, oh, his... T yeah, his uh, guild mate's right there, too. Oh, he's, like, playing music while we fight. Okay, that's nice. What's up? Flame blind. Oh, I'm getting punished. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me actually lock in. Let me lock in, because... His weapon does so much damage. I can't afford to miss parries. I really can't. Okay. Flame bind. Nice. He's dazed too. I'm just crit. Oh my goodness, bro. That talent is so underrated, bro. It's very good. I keep on running into his attacks. It's not even me missing parries. It's just me having the worst timing in the game, bro. Telling you, if you don't have good like timing with your attacks, it's as bad as not being able to parry, bro. Because you will get hit for free, right? You can be a best, you, you can be the best at parrying, but if you have bad timing, that literally means nothing. You can still be like trash at the game, bro. And that's just me, because I can parry, but like my timing is absolutely terrible, bro. Which I need to improve on like a lot with the timing. Does this dude just want to run? Like like a lot of times, I just get punished for attacks. Okay, nice. I'm gonna just crit two. He's dazed. Is he not gonna, like, hit? You see what I mean? Like, I just got punished because of bad timing again. Like, timing is so much in Deep Oaken. Like, I lost, like, how much? Okay, I tried the M1 again. Oh, just no Deep Oaken. It's a, like, basically turn based game, kinda. Okay, you see, like, I just got hit again. <laughs> I'm gonna just attack him after parries, kinda. Because this is kinda crazy. I'm not gonna lie I, I shouldn't even be this slow he's dazed and he's dead <laughs> is this dude gonna let his leader get gripped <laughs> yo who are these people <laughs> wait that dude's a bounty too I'm sorry but I gotta fight this dude yeah, they should have jumped me. I'm not gonna lie. If they would have jumped me. Maybe they would have won because I, I was getting punished like crazy. I gotta modify my uh, fire forge. Hear that? Or not? Boom! Flame blind too. Okay, crit right here. Upper cut. This dude's getting packed up. Okay, wait, what? That's actually, like, really good. That just caught me off guard when he pulled me in with the Iron Sing. Bro, I can't complain about S-Holders because they're a uh, heavy weapon. I really can't. Oh, my goodness. I need to, like, close the distance, though. Let me just flame blind. Like, if I hit them with that flame blind and their days, it's just so good. Boom, spit two. Oh, please do not come back, bro. Wait, who's that at? Who's that aiming at? Is it me? Oh, it was me. Hear that? Bro, please. I don't even want to fight them again. Oh, he's charging it up. Nice, that hits. Flame blind. Are they dazed? They are. Come, come, please. Nice. Crit, crit. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so now I'm gonna just do a shrine of order. No, there's no way. There's no way. I didn't even hit that dude. Why is he running from the NPC? Okay, this looks perfect. We're gonna do this right here. 
and let's go okay so first things first what i'm gonna do uncap this and put 25 agility because every build needs speed demon right now speed demon is a must-have talent okay and i'm also going to start training up fortitude because i do want to get exo into the finish and this build is going to be very tanky as well guys i'm just train up fortitude now okay so they should be like somewhere over here right we can actually put our guild base in here okay so uh is he right there oh they're right there wait okay let me fight both of these guys after i kill these guys then i'll level up and yeah that's basically going to be it part two which is going to be the final part there's going to be much more pvp I'm not really going to go into like a story or anything and yeah it's just going to be uh good right so we're going to get our quarter part two and all this stuff so yeah let me just knock these guys real quick okay oh that dude has my old hair combo i just realized yeah i uh, guys i switch up my hair combo when like my hair combo gets like too overused the most of the time and then i gatekeep it right i gatekeep my uh, new hair combo for a while and then i'll just uh once it gets like too popular sometimes i swap off of it so yeah okay let me actually just like get into a little parry trade here because bro oh there i'm getting like not letting that slide bro like that dude's trying to hit me from the back bro i saw that critical a mile away okay boom i love storm blades bro storm blades is such a good mantra even the uh like the 1v1 arena one so yeah so i'm gonna just knock this dude real quick uppercut right here okay uppercut boom it's a storm blades too okay, so he's just getting comboed doing like no damage right now but that's okay i look you want to make a crescent cleaver build i love the critical for that weapon the critical is so nice just so satisfying when that uh crescent cleaver critical does hit someone Actually, I'll let this dude uh, hit me with it once here. Oh, okay, never mind. He did not use the critical attack. I don't think he's using it anymore. Bro, I want to show you guys the Crescent Cleaver uh, critical. Okay, look. Whoa, bro, I literally stood still to, like, have this guy showcase. Okay. GG. GG. Oh, but yeah, that's basically it for this progression video. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like and sub it really does help me out a ton and yeah we're just gonna level up here one more time see what we get hopefully exo return to dark ages no 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 not on a hero sword build never get that on a hero sword build because i'm going to be using a lot of mantras right oh bro please give me exo at least give me exo bro please 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 okay the game did not give me exo Okay, guys, so we'll get Exo in the part two. Also, Arc Water. The part two will be the final part. I could go for a Fire Palm. But then again, do I want, like, up-close mantras? Uh, like, like I could really combo someone. Last progression video with the Hero Sword, I had a lot of ranged mantras. I like fighting up-close, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take Flame Grab instead of Fire Palm. I want, like, the up-close mantras, you know? So... Yeah, we're going to take Vitality as well. I love all of you guys, and see ya. Also, bro, I'm so happy that they added Banks to Deepoken too. But, yeah, see ya guys.